I think Kaposi is perfectly right there in execution of the game plan. And Atreya is going to want to keep it standing up. I mean, we say Kelly might want to take it down, but he had some success in that last round on the feet. It'd be interesting to see how this one plays out. As he lands another two solid punches. Atreya waving his man on there. Oh, but as he says that, he gets caught coming in. And now it's Kelly doing the waving on. And a nice one too. He's had some success with that right hook. It's just turned out to be a very, very good fight. Both guys actually want to bring everything there. Standing, banging, trading punches. Big punches. left from Kelly there. Atreya calling his man on. Very brave. Kelly's Superman over the top. Nothing really doing on that. Kelly dodging it. Atreya gets the takedown very well set up. Now it's a different set of circumstances. We'll see what O'Brien can do from the top. He's really going to have to make something happen realistically. Probably staring down the fact that he's two rounds in the hole. It's a very tough opponent. And now he's got the top position. He's going to have to try and do something with it. And with a close guard. He's got the wrist control in there. So maybe trying to stall. He's maybe trying to negotiate his way back to a stand up. He sees that he's back to the cage, he's probably going to look to try and wall walk up. That's exactly what his corner will be screaming at him. But Prayer really needs to make the most out of this situation. You see him on some good ground and pounding a the shot there. Ooh, was that? Looked like a legal kick, yeah. It looked yeah. like Kelly was still head, grounded. Yeah, still grounded. Good hard move, both men to neutral corners. Totally accidental by the looks of things. I think he just got a bit overzealous. Yeah, that's, a po that's a point deduction. I think prayer to be fair to him. Probably just got a bit of a rush of the blood to the head and probably saw that, saw his man forward. Not ideal to get a point deducted when you really need him to, uh, look to win the round. Well, if he said at the start, if, it, if he thought that he maybe needed a finish now, we know he definitely does. Point deducted, probably two fights down. Two points down, excuse me, shoots for the single. If he gets this takedown, he's going to have to work very quickly. Kelly doing the right thing, incredible balance. That's some high-level takedown defense. He ends up on top, negotiates his way back to the clinch position. Hold of the shorts there, maybe. Obviously, Kelly just having a quick word there just to ensure that the referee knew about the situation. It's a real grinding position. If Kelly can negotiate his way on top there, which it looks like he is doing, he maybe has enough to kind of get this one in the get this one in the books. Trey holds on to his man, maybe looking to work something from guard. He really doesn't have the space to work in this in this situation. Perfectly executed game plan from Kelly in this last round. I think what we've seen over the, uh, the three rounds is we've seen a very, very good technical ground game from both fighters, takedown defences, and we've also seen you know, what they can do trading with the stand up. What a great ad advert for a featherweight, especially debutants as well, for featherweight mixed martial arts. I mean, this is what we see the, the explosive pace that these light fighters push for the whole three rounds, and what a great fight that was. It'd be interesting to see how the judges call that one. Let's hear it for a very gallant winner. Let's hear it for Belaga Bacayo. 